Alright, so we're going to be just looking at how to actually restrict a domain of a function. So we'll just put in a random function here, just clear this one. So we'll put two, remember where your two functions are on your calculator, and then we'll just do cosine function. We'll do 2x and, and we might just move it down a couple, so down. Okay. So this one here, it hasn't restricted the domain at all. As you can see, it keeps on going all the way from all the negative values, positive, zoomed out, it'll keep on going. Okay, so to do this, just get your function back up, get into it by pressing tab and getting to the right function, and then just go to control and equal sign, and see this line here, this just separates the actual function from where you want the domain to be set. So here, um, here I'll just look at, if we were going to look at a couple of rotations, we'll go from 0 to 4 pi. So all your less than and greater than symbols are all put in here. So 0 is less than x, because we're looking at the domain, which is x. And then we just put out another less than symbol. And then put in 4. And you can actually type in pi, and then pi. Pretty cool. So here we see here, as you can see, hopefully you know it's quite not in the ground. So we can actually just zoom this out by just putting menu, window zoom. Okay, you can zoom out. Um, if you zoom a bit, most of the time it actually gets the whole thing, but slightly doesn't in this one. So just go menu, window zoom, zoom out. Okay, go there, you get a good picture of what it is. Press escape to get this out of the zoom. Um, I like to get this out of the way by just holding it down and just dragging. Okay, you can do that by just holding down the middle button if it has and dragging it. So, yeah, that's just how you set your domain so you can look at it visually and it has a lot of useful things. Hope this helps.